634 and right now attorneys for the man at the center of a violent arrest caught on video say they're being stonewalled by the Clayton County Sheriff. Our Rebecca Schramm joining us live and Rebecca Roderick Walker out of the Clayton County Jail right now, but he is somewhere else in jail. Yeah, uh, Karen, he made bond in Clayton County, but there was no going home for Roderick Walker. He was immediately transferred here to the Fulton County Jail. Why? Because he had a warrant for a probation violation. Take a look. We have some new photos uh, that attorneys released showing 26 year old Roderick Walker, his injuries there. You can see he has scrapes on his face from the pavement and a black eye. He got those injuries from this scuffle that was captured on video and circulated on social media over the weekend. Walker's attorneys say they are frustrated because they're getting little to no information from the Clayton County Sheriff's Office. No incident report telling them what led to the the arrest, not even the name of the deputy the sheriff fired for excessive force. They say prosecutors need that information too. What happens is the district attorney is to get the warrants and the police report, then they can start prosecuting, but they are still awaiting uh, what we are all waiting for is, you know, the police report. Are there body cameras in this case? If not, why not? Are there dashboard cameras? If not, why not? And we're not getting answers either from the Clayton County Sheriff's Office, although we will keep pressing to try to get some answers. For now, Walker will remain in the Fulton County Jail until his probation issues are resolved. We're live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.